So will you be leasing your next new vehicle or buying and financing? But more and more people are leasing today. It really does make sense for a lot of consumers. And it's not that hard to understand. In many ways, it's just simple math, as Mike Liga at Sakuchi Honda tells us. Well, there's a lot of benefits to leasing. We're very fortunate we have a Honda franchise. Honda's hosts, uh, they hold their value so well, and the end value determines the overall leasing price for somebody. So a vehicle manufacturer has a vehicle that doesn't hold their value well, their leases are much more expensive than ours. Um, the main thing is also there's many advantages to leasing for many people, and it, it is a lower payment, and people can get more car, and they also have many options on their leases. So right off the hop, somebody should really look at that residual value so the more it's worth at the end of the lease probably the better deal you can get the customer is that correct absolutely as a whole most of our hondas hold about 60 percent of their value after three years so you know we give somebody a nice discount on the vehicle they're going to only be paying for 30 percent of the vehicle over a three-year period of time um, we have Civics right now that we've been leasing with no money out of pocket for in the low 200s which is a very low payment Obviously, there's some competitors out there that advertise, uh, you know, some very low numbers of $49 and such, but that's usually with money down and some other conditions apply. If you put enough money down, you can actually lease a $300,000 car for $49 a month. It just might require a $295,000 down payment. Right. So besides the low payment, what are some of the other advantages to leasing over buying? Well, so one of the advantages of the main point with leasing is you're paying for what you use, John. You know, you use mainly the car for three years, you pay for three years of usage. You only pay taxes on your monthly payment, you don't pay taxes on the whole price of the vehicle. You know what you're getting into, you know what your fixed monthly cost is for the vehicle, the only additional cost you have is your property tax from your individual town and your insurance on the vehicle. So an important thing to remember is the residual value of the vehicle at the end of the lease. Vehicles like Hondas that keep their value make for the best lease deals. The other thing is, too, is you have three options at the end of the lease. One, if you love the car, you know the previous owner, it would be yourself, John. Right. And you can buy the vehicle for a pre-disclosed amount. Number two, you could just say, I'm all done with it, my needs have changed, I want to just turn the vehicle in, I've used what I need to use, and you turn the vehicle back in, you walk away. And your third option is, a lot of our vehicles, and many of our customers fall into this, they trade the vehicle back in. The vehicle, many times, they didn't drive as many miles as they thought, they took good care of it, and the vehicle is worth more than the buyout value at the end. They have equity that which they applied towards a new vehicle. Of course, the amount of miles you drive each year is an important factor, but remember that high mileage should not deter you from considering leasing. Uh, mileage does play an important factor in factoring the cost of the monthly lease payment, but it does not exclude everybody. You can lease this vehicle at the lowest cost would be at our dealership 12,000 miles a year. But if you went to 15,000 miles a year, it usually changes that payment 17 to $20 a month. And then you're covered. And then if you're somebody that drives up to 20, 25,000 miles a year, obviously your payment would be higher, but you would get also more use of the vehicle. Mike, I have another question. What if someone is into a three-year lease, they're halfway through, so they have a year and a half to go, and for whatever the reason, their needs change or they don't like the vehicle, can you get out of a lease that far in advance? We have had some of our customers do it even after one year. It depends on the individual, which car they leased, and the current demand on the used car market. Okay. We have a lot of demand for used Hondas, and so a lot of times our number one source for those is off-lease vehicles or people getting out of their lease early. What we try to do at our dealership, if you say for example, John, you wanted to get out 18 months early, we call Honda, find out exactly what your payoff is on that vehicle, we determine the actual market value of your vehicle, and then decide which route would be best for you financially to get into a new one. One of the main things we find with people with leasing is how well they're educated. It's up to us as a deal to educate the consumer and tell them so that they know and they feel comfortable with who they're doing business with, the vehicle they're getting, and also the value of the product we're showing them. The Honda lease is a great lease. It includes what we call gap insurance. Say, for example, you got in an accident and your vehicle was totaled. Insurance company may not give you enough money to settle that whole account. Honda has that built in automatically. Not all manufacturers do that with their lease program. The main thing is, is just finding the value, and we know we have that value product. We've been doing it for years and years. Uh, we celebrate our 65th anniversary this month, and we have everybody trained on it. I've been personally to many different education programs on leasing, 
and finding the lease, the vehicle with the price and matches your needs and your requirements. So do your homework and lease a vehicle that holds its value, like a Honda from Sakuchi Honda in Middletown, celebrating 65 years.